Thank you for getting me my shit back, Vroom. It may have been half wrecked, but my crew and I got it shaped up to almost proper working order in no time, Vert. I wish you good luck in finding whomever you're looking for, Fleet. Come visit again. You're welcome anytime, Fleet. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last episode, we took on Tantalus after Tantalus attacked the ship that we were on. Today, we're going to look over differences that can be seen in um, this area, including the Lanairu Caves, and we're going to be going up to the sky and gathering Goddess Cube chests, and maybe doing an upgrade or two at the bazaar. I am stupid. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do what I did. Okay. You want to go around to get back up here. You want to go around and you just want to hook shot or claw shot. I thought I got over my hook shot thing last episode. Oh. Honestly, you know what? I'm not really worried about it. Claw shot, hook shot. Same analog. Different items. I don't know why this is catching on. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself, but honestly, you know what? It is what it is. Heading back to Lanairu Caves, though. There's something quite interesting here. We go back to talk to Golo. We can go and sit here. And Golo has a conversation that we wouldn't- that we would probably miss. So, you would not happen to be interested in excavating, would you? You are? Well, then, you're gonna love this. The thing is, um, these research digs can get really expensive, but they can be lucrative. Any interest in, in inv investing 10 rupees in my dig? Sure, why not? I mean, we have quite a lot. Thanks. I will put these ones to good use. And is that all he has to say? You have certainly proved your passion for digging, my good friend. I will make sure to put these ones to good use, and I appreciate your pac patience. Okay. Well, Golo took our money, and I don't think he's going to run with it, so we'll see what our investment brings us. Next, I want to return to Skipper, so I'll see you back at Skipper. Okay, back at Skipper. Let's go and talk to him. Let's see what's going on. You made it, Zert. Did you find the one that you were looking for, Fleet? Want me to take you somewhere by boat, Is it? He can take you to the sand ship like anything, because the one thing is here. If you look at the map for the sand sea, well, it's hard to go and say. But there is a goddess statue, or not a goddess statue, they're completely different things. There's a bird statue at every location. So you can technically go to every location with technically fast travel. It's just for here, it's you returning to this bird statue and talking to him. Let's go and take up his offer. See what the sand ship is, right, is like right now. Right, I'll take you to my boat, Vroom. Okay, Sandship is about the same. We're, they fixed it up. That's indeed a thing. There are robots on the deck, so things have definitely changed. Let's see what everything's like in the past. Okay. What's up, buddy? Once we're all ready, our ship will set sail to the glorious sea once again, Fleet. I like the payoff for this. This is interesting because the temple... Well, you'll see as we explore, but like... The temple is completely changed after the fact. And I like it whenever video games do this. And to my recollection, no Zelda game really did this before... Like Breath of the Wild, I would think. So this was like one of the first times in the series. I think Majora's Mask dabbled with this. Yeah, Majora's Mask definitely dabbled with this. But it's to a lesser scale. It wasn't dungeons, it was areas outside of dungeons. Thanks for getting my shit back, Vroom. Okay. Nice. So 
so we have like all these friendly conversations to make. This isn't locked off, so we'll go down there at some point. I want to head to Captain's Quarters first. I want to see what's going on up over there. Let's go and just hang out and walk around. The other thing that I like about this temple is nothing's locked off to you anymore. You're just chilling. Like you're you're able to just go. Okay. Downstairs. See what's going on down here. Is there anybody down here? Nobody in the boss room chest or boss room door. There are people in here. How's it going here? We're getting ready for our next voyage, Weep. But the captain is working so us so hard that I think my gears are grinding verm. Okay. Well, he's definitely getting work to the circuit board. We're so proud of our captain, Vleep. There's nothing we wouldn't do for him. Vroom. Okay. Nice. So they're just chilling. I'm out. I'm down for it. Let's go and check the lower decks. I'll see you there. Okay, back on the other side. Let's see if there's anything on the place where we fought Skurvo. Or anything on the bow. Oh, there is indeed a robot out here. Cool. Standing here on the bow brings back so many memory functions of Weep. Some good, some bad. But such is the life of a sailor, Zert. That is an awesome reference to the painting in Skipper's house. Oh, you can see the flame up there too. That's that's a cool image as well. Just seeing the flame just hanging out up there. You have no way of getting up there. Because there's like a death plane stopping you from jumping from above. But it's nice that it's part of the environment. Okay, is there anything going on in here? We'll find out. There's no way into the... Is there anybody in that room? No, there's not. And I don't know why I tilted my head like that. That audio probably sounded weird in the mic. I'm gonna be completely honest. Let's go and just... I, I had to go and smash things. It's just in Zelda DNA. Okay, is there anybody in here? We're, we're just gonna check every door, honestly. Like, as long as we're not locked off from it. I also like that you can do this all in the past. Like, all in... Uh, yeah, all in the past. There were more crew members originally, but after our ship was taken, many of them decided to pursue other functions from... This next journey across the seas is a mission to reunite with our missing crew members. Fleep. Okay. Interesting. Let's go and see what's in here. I don't know if there is a guy over on this. Oh, there is. How are you doing? Nothing is finer than sailing the high seas, Philippe. Are you coming with us, Vroom? Maybe in another time period, there will be another Link that hangs out with pirates. I don't know. There's nobody in this room. Okay. Okay. Nobody in this room, but we can take it down to the brig. So I'll see you. Or no, not down to the brig. Br down to the engine room. There's a guy here. This is the engine room, is it? We're getting ready for a long journey, Vuleep. Try not to get crushed in here, Vroom. Okay. Keep that in mind. Anybody on this side? No. But I'm just going to use these pistons as leverage. Because I can. Oh, no. Oh, that actually worked. Okay. Normally, I would recommend not getting crushed by those, but if you're going backwards, getting crushed by those helps. Surprisingly. Is there anybody down here? No. I do know there is somebody over here in the secret room. Where all the booty was held. Hello? Here we go. This dude right here. Our precious treasure is gone, but who stole it, Vroom? 
it wasn't me. Okay, climbing up on another, like, timeline where we didn't open the chest. So let's see if this line is different. That's our precious treasure, Zert. Don't touch it, Vroom. Me really want to touch now, but you know what? I'll respect um, his boundaries. Pretty cool line change, too. They didn't need to go and do that either. This place is cool. Now on the way to the control room. Let's go and go. We have a little city spot. We can just chill here. The door is open, which is interesting. But yeah, let's go and talk to this guy. This control room transmits the power of the time shift zones to the engine room. Is there no unauthorized entry? Fair enough. Oh. Oh, they actually got him. How's it feel, guys? Honestly, like, this is unique. I don't... I, I like that Technoblins are, like, actually punished for their crimes. This is unique as hell, though. Having them all be in here. You can just, um... Deal with them. Or... I messed that up. It's all good. Let's talk to this guy. There's a prison riot. I'm sorry about that. And these guys will get what's coming to them later. Don't you worry, weep. But yeah, Technoblends being punished is always great. Technoblends being punished for their crimes is the one of the best things in this. Let's go and head out. But I do like how this place is a full-blown settlement afterwards. Like, they didn't need to go to all this work to do what they did. And I'm actually really happy about it. They could have just honestly gone with the route of... Like, the only other route that they could have gone of that would, blew my, that would blow my mind is if the temple is just inaccessible because the ship was gone. That would have been the only other route that they could have taken where it would be like, well, they didn't need to go and do that either. Like, ultimately, it was either you didn't have access to the dungeon or the dungeon turned into its own little settlement. And I like this option a lot more. Something that is nice about the sand ship also that is really good is the fact that there are goddess walls. The goddess wall is still here. This place isn't overridden with enemies, but the goddess wall is still here. So this is the best place, if you unlock the goddess wall, of course, to come back to every now and then to stock up on items, whether it be fairies, arrows, anything else. It's a really good place to do that. Now that we've seen the greatness that is the sand ship, ultimately I love everything about the sand ship. If it wasn't clear, the only bad spot about the sand ship, in my opinion, is Tantalus. But everything else is pretty great. So without further ado, let's head to the statue and just head up to the sky to do our final bits of the episode. Okay, up in the sky we have a few chests to get. And I'm pretty sure that we have like three. We have one in the Thunderhead, one out here, and one in Skyloft. So, let's get this one, the one that we have gone to most often, with our claw shot. The claw shot. Okay. Please. Don't know why I even, like, did, like, a fake French accent there. I just insulted a bunch of people. Let's just get the chest and move on. Potion metal. Carry this with you to prolong the effects of a potion. If you got this, remember to pack a lot of potions. I won't be going in detail with this until a potion episode. Like I went and said like a couple episodes ago, we're going to have a bonus episode that's potion oriented. But this is very useful if you really like using potions, specifically if you use the oxygen potion quite a bit. The swimming potion. This can help you out quite a bit. Pouch is full, so the item must send to the item check. Okay. Not really that surprised. How do we get out of here? You just grab onto the seat. Grab onto the ceiling. And grab onto here, and you're all good. Let's head into the Thunderhead, because I'm pretty sure there's one in there. Unless I'm mistaken, and we are going to head to Skyloft after that fact. Yeah. 
Okay, so on Skyloft to get our next Goddess Cube chest. It is quite up here. We want to actually go back up on that Sky Island up there. That Sky Island that we jumped from to get the Baby Rattle. Okay. Nice. Let's go and use our hookshot. Or can I stop calling this the hookshot, please? Frustration breeds within me for myself. Okay. Because I get names wrong. <laughs> Okay, let's head through. Chess. Let's see what's in you. Heart piece, 17 out of 24. Nice. I need to keep in mind my editing. That title's probably gonna be weird. Let's go and jump down. Let's hit the water. This would feel like concrete, but, you know, Link is a boss like that. It's fine. It's all good. That also would hurt quite a bit. Let's head into the bazaar. Because the bazaar seems to be the center of all the trips to Skyloft, really. The bazaar really is the city center. Okay. Okay. Going and hanging around here. We have things from Rupin that we can do. We have Gondo and... Hello? Oh. Master Link. This is a treasure chest-like object and a relic of ancient times left by the goddess for her chosen hero. It would appear that each chest re responds to the energy released when a specific goddess cube is launched skyward, releasing its lock, rec lock mechanism. Search your goddess cubes in the lands below and send them to the air. Is the only way to open these chests. Okay. I wanted to show that whenever, like, we're on one of our last goddess cubes because... Or goddess cube chests. Or not one of our last because there are quite a bit more goddess cubes. But I wanted to show it partway through, basically, with the goddess cubes. Because I think it's ridiculous that Feast Tutorial is tied to this chest specifically. This chest should have been one of the first ones that you got because of that tutorial. If anything else, it should have been tied to the first goddess cube that you got. Like, that you would normally get in a playthrough, which is the one that um, the Goron was next to originally. So, they really missed the mark on that one. Golden Rupee! It kind of makes up for it a little bit. That tiny little bit. And we're at 2087. Damn. Okay, we have things that I want to talk to, um... Gondo about. We have things that I want to talk to Ruben about. Let's go and talk to Ruben first, because we always neglect Ruben. Let's go and have Ruben do things first. Aha! My friend, I just got a new item in today. My... Latest treasure is a finely crafted small quiver for discerning bow owners. It's simply a must. Please take a look for yourself. Okay. Interesting. Let's go and see what we have on us. Because I want to go and actually probably trade something out for that bow. I might trade out the large seed, sa large seed satchel for the quiver. So you know what? Let's go to Beatrice. Hello. Welcome, Link. Do you have something you want to deposit with me? Yeah. Okay, hand it over. Let's go and hand her the large seed satchel. And just sit in there. Remember, you can come by anytime, anytime. Wait. You can come by anytime, anytime. You need to remind yourself about how beautiful I am. Yeah, I'm good at reading. Okay. Let's get through here. And let's grab the small quiver. That's a small quiver. Jesus Christ. That was bad. That's a small quiver. With your with this in your pouch, you can carry five more arrows. Perfect for anyone enamored with archery. It costs 150 rubies. Do we have a deal, friend? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. More arrows is always nice to have. You got the small quiver. Now you can carry five extra arrows. Carry it with you when you're using the bow. Aha! The customer is always right. I've taken the liberty of placing your purchases in your pouch. Press R to open it and equip what you need. 
and it's automatically equipped. It's passive. So let's check Gondo. Now we have things to upgrade. Hey kid, how's Scabber, how's Scrapper treating you? Anything to upgrade today? Let's go and upgrade. You got it. These are the items um you have that I can upgrade right now. So we had the bow and the large quiver or the small quiver and keys. I wanted to get the iron bow, but we might pass on that for right now, I guess. But we do have enough for a quiver upgrade. You know what? 30 arrows is better than 25. All right, you want to upgrade this? There's no going back here. Go for it. Okay, you just wait right there. <laughs> All done, here you go. You upgraded to the medium quiver. With this, you can carry 10 extra arrows. Carry it whenever you're using the bow. If you got anything else you want me to take around with, you just let me know. Okay, let's go and see how much it is more dusk relics okay that's going to be interesting yeah i'm gonna have to go and hunt for monster claws but as you can see if you upgrade your bow you get increased attack power and there's a little bonus i'll get into that whenever we actually get the thing to upgrade the bow so we need to go and fight more keys which i'll deal with off camera okay oh a report master because of the improvement of your sword, you can now use dowsing ability to locate treasure. Please use the additional entry in your dowsing target list at your leisure and convenience. Nice. Douse for treasure. What, what does that look like? Not really anything right now. But it is always nice to have like a thing to look around for treasure in case you missed it. So, that was useful, Fee. Thank you. Next, I want to stop off at the Isle of Songs. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. The last of the sacred flames still eludes you. To obtain it, you must claim another sacred gift. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will most certainly find the path to the sacred flames. Now, I bestow upon you another melody. Let it serve as a key to unlocking your final trial that awaits you in the Elden Volcano. According to my records, that song you heard is called Din's Power. Use this song to look, um, of might to locate the last trial. 
you learned Din's power. I have committed Din's power to my memory. Now you have the ability to use dowsing to locate the gate and to the final trial. I suggest you travel to Elden Volcano. That's, that's indeed good and everything. And with that, I just had to let Link crawl through that, but with that, I'm going to end this episode. This Ordon Herder here, signing out. See you guys in the next one.